Computer, we've returned to the Infinite Sundial. Are you coming? Hmm. Or maybe it'll be more proper to say, shall you be joining? Okay, let's head over now. You're all here. The Omnium Reactor has been moved to the central area of the Infinite Sundial, and the pre-activation phase has commenced. Our work on revamping the Infinite Sundial is progressing as scheduled. Tempos is simulating possible situations that may arise from the Infinite Sundial's revamping. We must be fully prepared for any surprises. I've summoned the leaders of all regions in District 9 here, so that we may discuss our plan with our guests from Hykros. Madam Ling Han is unable to attend due to the urgent situation with the darkness in Marshville. But I will take careful notes of your instructions, Master Yu. Okay. Well, now Miss Brevi will explain the specific arrangements. All right. According to the data, the sundial squares of each region are linked to the infinite sundial, so the revamping work must be done in unison. Tianjong Pavilion will be responsible for the full direction of the work on the infinite sundial and sundial squares. If you need anything, we will do our best to assist. Thank you so much, Miss Cute and Reliable Mimi. What did you say? Hmm? Isn't that what Master Yu calls you? Yes. It's fine. Carry on with the explanation. Hmm. Okay then. I'll continue. According to the plan, I'll work with Tianzhang Pavilion to complete the revamping wreck on the Sundial Squares in Jolpville. We'll get some experience with the Sundial Squares there, and then we'll be able to more easily complete the work on the Sundial Squares in all of the other regions. Once the revamping is complete, we can finally pre-activate the Sundial Squares. After that, we'll activate the Omnium Reactor, thereby finishing all of the prep work for activating the Infinite Sundial. Mm -hmm. Also, I heard that the previous Mara survey activity incited an intense reaction from the darkness. Perhaps that means that the darkness could also be affected by the small fluctuations in energy when the Sundial Squares are pre-activated? Could it be a precursor to an even bigger reaction? To ensure the smooth operation of the Sundial Squares, I strongly recommend that additional defenses be added nearby. The boundary must be kept secure. Okay, I have no objection to that. Please arrange the defenses. Due to the natural conditions of Marshville, the effects of the darkness are more intense there. I fear that revamping work of the Marshville Sundial Squares will take up too much time and delay the progress of the entire operation. The field energy resources are nearly depleted. We can't afford any delays. Jun Gung will send help to Marshville to ensure the Sundial Squares revamping work stays on schedule. Marshville's Department of Yuhang can also provide assistance. And Dr. Rubilia will help as well. How about we go with Yen Miao back to Marshville? Thank you for your help. All right, that's all on the agenda for this meeting. I won't take up any more of your precious time. Wait a moment, Miss Brevi. I still have some questions that I hope you can answer. I heard Ling Chao talk about the situation in Aquaville before. Be careful while you're over there. Thank you. I will, but I think I should be the one saying that to you. You two have already done so much for Domain 9, it's hard to put into words how personally thankful I am. So please, be careful on your way back to Marshville. Don't get hurt. You too. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself earlier. I'm Yen Miao, Overseer of the Department of Yuhung. We are mainly responsible for research on the issue of the darkness in Domain 9. We identify the biological characteristics of each darkness entity and use that knowledge to assist other organizations in fighting the darkness. To be precise, we are not simply an academic organization, but also one of military support and tactical analysis. We will aid you in the upcoming Infinite Sundial revamp project in Marshville and investigate the reason behind the unusual darkness activity. Oh yes, 
Dr. Rubilia and some of the others are conducting research on the darkness at the Department of Yuhung. Her unique insights into the research have helped us make various breakthroughs recently. Perhaps we will soon be able to unravel the mystery of Marshville's Black Jade Ruin. Is there anything special about the Black Jade Ruin in Marshville? Well, it's a little complicated to describe. It will be easier to observe it for yourself once we arrive in Marshville. Let's start making our way to the Field Ruins. By the way, it's been a while since you've been to Joltville, right? Ah, indeed. The Department of Yehung has much work to do. I don't usually leave Marshville. And when my duties do require me to travel, it's usually just to go collect darkness samples. I generally don't even go to facilities like the Infinite Sundial unless I need to for work. That's why I couldn't really recall the exact way before. Fortunately, you were able to help, Tian Long. It was nothing. Apologies. Even though I'm a Domain 9 resident, I still get lost. Ugh, not the best impression of my reliability. Here we are. We can take the Dragonfly Cruiser to Marshville from here. What's the matter? N nothing It's just that I'm a little afraid of heights. But I know there's no way that we would actually fall, right? Right? Calm down. I need to calm down. And stop shaking. Stop shaking. I can do anything. I am overseer of the Department of Yuhung. I can do anything. Uh, Yen Miao? We can land now if you... I am the overseer of the Department of Yuhung. I can do anything. Heights are nothing to be afraid of. <sighs> we made it. All this snow. You all right? Don't catch a cold. I'm okay. Warren Snowfield is also cold like this. Marshville didn't originally have this type of environment. We have concluded that it resulted from the effects of the darkness energy spilling out of the Black Jade Ruin. Marshville's natural resources weren't very rich to begin with, and this situation just made things worse. Also, the darkness energy has made the darkness entities near the ruins a lot stronger, making them much harder to defeat. All of these various factors put together have turned the vast region of Marshville or the forbidden Hendeka County into the barren land you see now. That's why the Department of Yuhung is here. The more dangerous and uninhabited a place is, the more likely it is to hold the key to the darkness. That must have been what Dr. Rubilia thought as well. From Jiltville, we already knew that the darkness energy coming out of the ruins was disastrous to the surrounding area. But we had no idea that it also enhances the abilities of the darkness entities. This is what makes Marshville's Black Jade Ruin unique. How are the Grayspace entities sealed within able to affect the others outside? Dr. Rubilia worked hard to investigate this ever since she came to Domain 9. She previously revealed some of her ideas to me. At her behest, I've been looking into them further. Once the transformation work is complete, I will return to the Department of Yuhung to continue assisting Dr. Rubilia. Madame Ling Hong is responsible for the work on the Sundial Square in Marshville. Let's go convene with her. Don't try to improvise on your own. Stick to the original plan and leave the rest to me. Yes. Madame Ling Hong, these two are the Executor and Miss Shirley. They've come to help with the revamping of the Sundial Squares. Mr. Tian Long will also assist. But the revamping work will certainly cause increased darkness activity. So, we need to eliminate the threat, just as you anticipated. 
Understood. Well then, I'd like to give all of you a briefing on the current situation in Marshville. Marshville's situation is different from those of the other three regions. I believe all of you should have already heard this from Yan Miao. How can we use our resources as efficiently as possible to eliminate as many darkness entities as possible? The best way would naturally be to destroy the tide of darkness before it fully forms in one swift stroke, crumbling its power before it even has a chance to grow. Before the tide of darkness forms? You mean when an abyss current first begins to form? Precisely. Longjian Pavilion is able to collect data from around Marshville and analyze any changes in real time. Thus, allowing us to predict when an abyss current will begin to form. Not long ago, the sword array of Longjian Pavilion indicated that there is a high probability of an abyss current forming near Marshville's Black Jade Ruin. The Domain Guards reported this to me just at the time you were arriving. With your help, I have faith that we will be able to subdue the darkness first before its next assault. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Yan Miao, you stay here to help coordinate the evacuation of the local residents. Understood. <sighs> We're late. Let's go help. <laughs> <laughs> Jin Pavilion is known for its warning system. I wonder how it works. Would it be possible to arrange a tour for me? So I may learn more about it? Um, but I, I know you're busy, so it's alright if it cannot be arranged. But why didn't the Abyss Current stop? Will there be more? If they keep coming, we'll just keep wiping them out. Thank you for your help in putting down the Abyss Currents. I will be stationed here until the danger is fully eliminated. I believe Yan Miao has taken care of the residents. You may return to the Baihu camp on your own, and Yan Miao will take you to the Sundial Square in Marshville. You're back! Madam Ling Han? The Abyss Current at the Ruin has only been quelled, but hasn't yet disappeared. Ling Han decided to stay there to eliminate it once and for all, so she didn't come back with us. The Abyss Current didn't disappear? So it happened again. <sighs> we think it's affected by the Black Jade Ruins. Based on what happened in the past, it's going to take Madame Ling Han a while to deal with it. How is everyone? Was anyone hurt? Don't worry, we are fine. But the battle was a tough one. I think it's more than just the gray space entities here, though. The effect of the timestamp grows weaker. We must channel Mara and replenish the Omnium at once. Okay. I've taken care of what Madame Ling Han asked me to, so we can leave at any time. That's the Temple of Divine Blessings. Currently, it serves as a transfer hub for the evacuating refugees. Temple of Divine Blessings? Yes. Humans have not been able to fend off the darkness invasions, and things have gotten worse over the years. Some started praying to the heavens, hoping for a divine rescue. When one is powerless to change things, some turn to the heavens. Ah. <sighs> 
Master Yosheng, who watches over the temple, is a respected man. The Temple of Divine Blessings provides solace to comfort anxious souls, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Let's keep going. This is the way up. Yan Miao, do you pray? Me? When I see the people like this, I feel the weight of my duty as the Overseer of Yohong grows even heavier. Let's pick up the pace. Those are... the civilians who are being escorted by the Domain Guards! Oh no! They look hurt! Let's go check on them! Please don't panic. The darkness has been repelled, and you're safe now. We will rest for a moment here, and set off again when the injured have been taken care of. I used to be a nurse. I'll help. I hope no one is badly hurt. I'll watch the perimeters. I've never seen you before. Oh, you must be from the outside world. That's right. Ah, must be hard for you too. With the darkness around, we could never settle down. Look at me. Even at this age, I had to leave my old house behind and let them move me somewhere else. Ah, my bones. Don't worry. Things will change for the better soon. Wait, you're not with the Department of Yuhung, are you? The Department of Yuhung? I know who they are. That's Yun Miao, the current overseer. How? Wasn't the evacuation order issued by Madame Linghan? Why is she here? Uh. <laughs> Everyone, please listen to me. It's Lord Wen Shi. Everyone, I am escorting you all to safety according to the order from Madame Linghan. There is no need to worry. The attacking darkness has been handled. The dangers ahead have been eliminated as well, and that is why the domain guards were late. We hope you can understand. <sighs> it's nothing serious, and it's over. We're all okay. We're relieved that Madame Ling Hong made the arrangements. Of course, we have to thank Lady Yin Miao and these domain guards, too. We really can't thank you all enough. <sighs> I'm just doing my job. Please take a moment to rest. We'll set out shortly. Lady Yan Miao, sorry we were late. We should have arrived sooner. The darkness is elusive, and you already did your best to protect everyone. But... We couldn't very well ignore the civilians in danger. Like Tian Long said, we were just doing our jobs. But why was everyone scared when they saw Yan Miao? The Department of Yuhung. Nanyan was the previous overseer of the Department of Yuhung. The former Lady Bai Hu, who had the deepest understanding of the darkness. She was our greatest hope, and also the youngest Bai Hu. And she betrayed Domain Nine. Betrayed all of us. She walks with the darkness now, and everyone despises her. This created a misunderstanding against the Department of Yuhung. Many believed that Nan Yin's extensive research into the darkness had corrupted her mind, leading her to side with them. We're still using the data she left behind. In addition to what they're good for, we're also trying to find out why she betrayed us from her past manuscripts. The misunderstanding got worse because people thought we were still in touch with Nan Yin, they didn't want to see history repeat itself, understandably so. When the darkness attacked just now, the Department of Yehung Overseer, arguably the person that has the most complicated relationship with the darkness, quickly stepped in to help. It's only natural that people were anxious. But Yan Miao is nothing like that. Don't worry. 
As the current overseer of the Department of Yeohung, this is my burden. If I keep working hard, I believe people will change their opinion of the Department of Yeohung in the future. And there's also one C, Yu Lan, and Madame Ling Han. There are many others that support us. This must be why Madame Ling Han arranged for me to handle the evacuation. It's not a mere arrangement, Lady Yan Miao. The energy pulses from the Sundial Square starting might attract a large number of darkness to attack the area surrounding the square, posing a huge threat to the nearby civilians. It was the Department of Yu Hung that proposed organizing an evacuation as soon as possible. Please don't sell yourself short. Mm? Don't worry. We will take over the escort from here. Thank you. We should head out to the Marshville Sundial Square to complete our mission. <sighs> Looks like there's no darkness here, which is great news, because the road ahead is long. Should we take a break? No, I think I'm just a little overworked lately, so I get tired easily. You always work so hard. No, everyone does. I'm just doing my job. Anyway, I'm fine now. Come on, let's go. This is Lake Heart Search, and it used to be a tourist attraction in Marshville. Many people came to see the lake. But with the darkness invasion, the worsening climate, and the lack of maintenance, a layer of frost covered the lake, and it became the desolation that you see now. Lady Yan Miao, we're making the final preparations for activating the Sundial Square. The Domain Guards are in their place, and the data from Tianzhong Pavilion has been synchronized. We can start the Sundial Square modification at any time. Let's get ready. Based on calculations, the darkness will be attracted to the Sundial Square during the entire modification. We have to remove the protective barrier for the construction so the Sundial Square will become extremely vulnerable. You'll have to protect the Sundial Square from the Darkness Onslaught. We're counting on you. Understood. Please, don't worry. The Sundial Square modification will not be affected by the Darkness on our watch. Thank you for your help. Please, follow me. communications with Marshville. Miss Brevy, how are things at the Sundial Square in Marshville? Will it link up with the other Sundial Squares? It's up and running like whoosh! The operation is a success! And we're done setting up the Omnium Reactor! Please return to the Sundial Square and witness the miracle of linking two planes. Excuse me, Master Yu. Please allow me to check the Omnium Reactor in the Infinite Sundial again. I might have missed some details. Hmm. There's also a chance that the reactor is incompatible with the Infinite Sundial. Could it be that the program... No need to get anxious, Miss Brevy. Mimi is arranging a team to investigate, and we'll know what happened very soon. What happened? The preparation should be complete once the Sundial system is deployed and the Omnium Reactor of the Infinite Sundial is set. Theoretically, when we activate the Omnium Reactor, it will start the Infinite Sundial and receive Omnium. But in reality, Hycross can't link to the Omnium Reactor, and they're investigating why. So Hycross needs to link to the Omnium Reactor in Domain 9? Because the space-time anchor point's adaptations are irreversible, the first activation of the Omnium Reactor needs to be performed by Gestos. Gestos is a supercomputer at Hycross headquarters. As the core control terminal of all the Omnium Reactors of the Tower of Fantasy, it has the ability to communicate through space and time and send authorizations to reactors in other planes. Archon Elric is already on it, but I might have to go back and tell them what's going on here. If nothing else is wrong, 
Could it be a problem with the Omnium reactor itself? Like, maybe something went wrong inside because it hasn't been turned on for a long time. Theoretically, that won't happen. But if we're trying to eliminate all the possibilities, we do have the option of moving another one here. Um, so this is one of those unexpected troubles that you only run into when you go from theory to practice? Teacher once mentioned it, and... I can't believe it's happening. No, this can't be. If it doesn't work, my paper from last year will be completely useless, and that means my funding request... Please let me try again. Teacher, we are linked to Gestos, but when I try to activate the program, it's kind of not waking up or something. Uh. Yes, it finally started! Now is our chance! Get it started! Space-time adaptation? Yep, everything seems to be working now according to theory. Locating Mara's space-time anchor point and initiating the field energy channeling and conversion. <sighs> Check data indicators. Sundial is now capable of channeling field energy from Comet Mara, and it has formed a stable field energy flow. We did it! <sighs> Finally. Is it confirmed? Yes. We had a communication error, but the program did not stop. I have reasons to believe that the reactor was briefly taken over. Then who? What has the power of doing this? Go to Domain 9 after this and investigate. Understood. With Hycro's help, the modification of the Infinite Sundial in Domain 9 was successful, and it can be used as a tower of fantasy that provides Omnium continuously. The timestamp is abundant in energy, and we no longer need to worry about the Infinite Sundial losing power. We now have the weapon we need to launch a counterattack on the Darkness. It is time we go on the offensive and turn the tide of battle. Based on the data collected by Jun Gong, they saw a significant decline in darkness activities in Joltville after fulmination. A high-ranking darkness was taken down. So the next step is to eliminate the darkness in the Black Jade ruins of each region. Considering the darkness situation, I would like to request that we handle the Black Jade ruin in Marshville first. Once the negative effects of the Ruin are removed, we might be able to resume investigations on the Forbidden Hendeka County. And that will take us one step closer to the truth of the Hendeka County Calamity. Master Yu, I would like to ask that... A good idea. If we can take this opportunity to further investigate the Forbidden Hendeka County, we will find more clues about Nanyin. But the Black Jade Ruin in Marshville is a special area. If we're not careful, the consequences are grave. Hmm. It is a risk worth taking if we want a better tomorrow for Domain 9. Master Yu, I would like to join the operation in Marshville as well. Your experience in bringing down Fulmination will help you deal with the darkness in the Black Jade Ruin of Marshville. Executor, Miss Shirley. I hope you can join the operation and assist them. Leave it to us. <laughs> in that case, your first target is the Black Jade Ruin in Marshville. You should go make preparations while I add more members to the operation. Thank you for everything you're doing. It's not your responsibility, but you're willing to go into such danger with me. We're all in this together. We're happy to fight alongside you. Right. I have some official work to take care of. 
so I must return to Baihu camp first. Please wait at the Department of Yu Hung, where Yin Miao will provide you with information about the ruin. See you later. You're back! The timestamp is shining again. And that means the Infinite Sundial has been activated, right? Yes, we resolved the field energy issue. That's great news! Now we'll have an advantage in our fight against the darkness. I was actually pretty worried that things might go wrong on the Marshville side. What do we do next? We venture deep into the Black Jade Ruin in Marshville, and destroy the darkness sealed within. This is Madame Ling Han's proposal, right? She must be... Alright, the Department of Yehung will do its best to assist you. After the Black Jade Ruin, we will deal with the Forbidden Hindeka County. I believe the Department of Yuhung will have enough information for you by the time Madame Ling Han sets her eyes on the Forbidden Hendeka County. How are you so sure that she will deal with the Forbidden Hendeka County next? Well, um, Hendeka County, it has to do with Nan Yin, right? Madame Ling Han once mentioned the Hendeka County calamity. Yeah, we don't really know too much about it. It's a traumatizing scar for everyone in Domain 9. We subconsciously avoid talking about it, as if we can bury it in the past and ease our pain somewhat. Eight years ago, when Nan Yin was the overseer of the Department of Yuhung, she calculated that a special Black Jade Ruin exists in Marshville. That's what we call the Forbidden Hendeka County now. That was before Domain 9 established relationships with the outside world. And things were getting worse. We never gave up, and we tried everything we could to turn the tide of the battle. Nanyan came to the conclusion that the Forbidden Hendeka County harbored something crucial to the darkness, and reported her findings to Master Lua, the previous master of Zhengong Palace. But the Forbidden Hendeka County was dangerous, because the darkness within was very powerful. It was difficult for an ordinary team to even go near, let alone venture deeper. Master Lua and the Four Heads thought about this thoroughly, and decided to lead a group of elite domain guards to explore the Forbidden Hendeka County. Everyone was hoping they would return with some kind of turning point for Domain 9, but we never heard from them again. If it weren't for Master Yu, the new master, and her effort, we might not have made it through those difficult times. But it didn't end there. Three years ago, Nanyin suddenly appeared, manipulating dark wretches to attack people who used to work for her. <sighs> Many people speculated that Nanyin betrayed Domain 9 long before that and the forbidden Hendika County that contained the key to the darkness was a trap that she set. Her understanding of the darkness was unparalleled, and this easily earned her master Lua's trust. In the end, Domain Nine's best soldiers perished in the forbidden Hendika County. But was that what really happened? Before we have concrete evidence, I can't agree with this speculation. Madame Ling Han knew Nan Yin much better than me. Her insistence on the Forbidden Hendika County must have something to do with this. I had no idea about any of this. Either way, if we can resume investigation on the Forbidden Hendika County, we will get closer to the truth from back then. The Department of Yu Hung has analyzed the characteristics of the Black Jade Ruin and put the data on display in the Department's archives. I think they will be helpful to you. The archives are not far from here. Please, follow me. We took a quick look and gained a basic understanding of the Black Jade Ruin. We will be removing the seal on the darkness during this operation, unlike the previous one where the darkness was trying to escape. Correct. This will be our first attempt. 
And that means anything can happen when we remove the seal. And... We'll have to record all the precious data for our research. I wonder if we can investigate the ruin comprehensively after we destroy the darkness. After all, this is where the higher-ranking darkness dwells. So there are bound to be clues. For example, how exactly does the ruin seal away a high-ranking darkness? Our current theory is that the structure of the ruin channels and concentrates energy, and it acts like a restrictive beam, consolidating the energy from the Black Jade. Sorry, I digress. Please don't mind me. We can go with you if necessary. You took my word seriously! Um, I'll get back to you on that when we make arrangements. Thank you for offering, though. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Based on the data in the archives, it is clear that we'll have to use the timestamp to remove the seal. Because of how unique the ruin is, the four lords combine their powers to put a seal on it. So, this operation will require the four of them to use their timestamps to remove the seal. Hmm. Master, you must have thought of that. Looks like everyone is here. First, I will summarize Master Yu's arrangements. We need to gather the Four Lords to open the Ruin, so Ming Jing and Huang will join us to fight the darkness within. While I'm inside, you will take care of matters pertaining to Marshville Yan Miao. Yes! I will not let you down, madam! This operation carries a lot of significance, and we must not fail. Based on the data compiled by the Department of Yuhong, there are traps around the perimeters of the Ruin. Someone needs to stay outside to control the traps and deal with the darkness that will be alerted by the traps being triggered. That's your job, Lan. We don't know how the darkness will act, so you will have to improvise. I will not let any darkness get inside. Now, let's go. Let's get started. once you're inside. Got it. Let's go. <sighs> you can't wait to get out, can you? The chance to escape is just around the corner. I can't wait either.
Lan's wounds are not serious, and she's been taken care of. She said that Nanyin fled toward the forbidden Hendeka County. I'm relieved that Lan is all right. Thank you, Miss Shirley. This is the second Christamax that she took. What does she want? She must be planning something. After all, the Christamax contains a large amount of darkness energy. But specifically... Based on what happened so far, she'll try to take the remaining two. Whatever she's planning, she will not get what she wants. We will not let her. Master Yu, I think we should investigate the Forbidden Hendeka County next. If we want to turn the situation around, we have to be proactive and seek her out. I will. We will resume investigation there, but the Forbidden Hendeka County is very dangerous, and we must be fully prepared. We'll have to talk about this at length later. I would like to thank everyone for their help today. Please, get some rest. Thank you. Not just for today, but for everything so far. I'm extremely grateful. We've been fighting the darkness since they invaded Domain 9 50 years ago. We tried many different things and paid hefty costs. But we weren't able to change anything. But we never gave up. And eventually, the Celestial Gate opened, and it brought hope. Thank you. If all of us work together, I believe peace and serenity will return to Domain 9 soon. It's closer than we think. But we have to remove all the obstacles before we can have a better tomorrow. We're finally going into the Forbidden Hendeka County. I have to do this despite the dangers lurking within. For the future of Domain 9, for the future of the Hendeka County Calamity, and for an answer, it is time I settle the score with her.